All right, I've been collecting parts to put this Pro Mag together for a while, and I almost have it complete, but the problem I'm running into is my standard uh, back ASA screw and vertical ASA screw. Works for the standard AGD back bottle. This one is, I guess, raw, never anodized. Doesn't look polished, I think it's just raw. When I took a look at this though, first I thought it was right. First I thought it was the right uh, thread, which is, I think, uh, what is it, quarter 28. But then I found out that it didn't quite screw in. Now, these two pieces came from the Netherlands. And the Promag is a early modification to a classic Automag valve which adds an 8-hole mod, and it was done by John Sosta of AGD Europe. This piece, this is a kind of an anti-siphon vertical ASA that screws into a 3.5 ounce. It actually came from the Netherlands, like I said, so I think maybe it's metric. So we're going to see if I can get a screw to fit it. So let's take a look at the 8-hole mod. I already unscrewed it. See how there's 8 holes there? We can see our one output hole. John Sosta found that if you have additional holes at different angles, it will always line up to give you a better airflow and cut down the shoot down while you're actually shooting it. And this was quickly fixed when they indexed the valves later on. But uh, early valves actually did suffer from shoot down. So John Sosta came up with that fix, the 8-hole mod, and he called his design the Promag. So I got my metric tap and die set here. And I've identified that the number 6 is probably closest. So I'm going to try that and see if I can clean up the threads. I've already run it through and cleaned it up. So this is kind of a fakey. Let's see if I can kind of look at that. goes right in. So that's going to be right. Just run it down and clean it up. So I was told that some of the grunge fold screws might be the same size. And they're used on pumps, grunge fold water pumps for mechanical systems. And they're red. So this is one that we have right here. So I'm going to try this bad boy. See if it's pretty close. Okay, let's see if it fits. Actually does. So now I need to cut this screw down so it fits the rail. All right, so let's see how far off we are here on the rail. It's the top of the head. And it's a little too big to fit in there. So I'm gonna have to cut it down on the, on the uh, sanding wheel, grinding wheel, whatever. But it also is too long, so I'm gonna have to chop a piece off as well. All right, so we're lined up, and now I can start the threads and see how it does. So with the screw threaded in, we can see that it's a good fit. No play between the rail and the vertical ISA. And now we can see just about how much we need to trim off. All right, so now I'm going to mark what needs to be cut here. So I got my finished screw. I'm going to put it in my rail, see if it holds this vertical ISA tank on. And here's the final fit. Looks pretty good. No play between the vertical ASA and the rail. So let's assemble, see how it looks. All right, I got it screwed together here. It's looking pretty good. 
Now I need to figure out how the air fittings come together and attach my back bottle as well. So my sight rail didn't quite fit, so I'm gonna just cut a little piece off of it, give it a slight angle for the airline to clear. Now with my trusted rusty file, I'm just kind of smoothing the edges out and it's pretty good, good to go. So I'm actually pretty good, look at that, wow. Aside from finding the airline that runs from the back bottle to the vertical ASA, I'm pretty good. Pro Mag 235, classic 68 auto mag, serial number, CF07090. Damn, I need to find what barrel's gonna go on this. <laughs>